Durag Wisdom here, folks, and welcome to Earth Day Y2K 17.10.16. Now is the time for nonviolent protests and civil disobedience. And the quotes I have for you on this one is Now is the time for you and your family to prepare for nuclear war. That comes from the movie Threads. And President Abraham Lincoln. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I refuse to delude myself, to normalize the malignant creep that the Russians helped flush into our lives. Trump's other help came from that portion of our electorate dedicated to nationalism, extremism, racism, chaos, and annihilation. And we should not forget about the 50% of registered voters who didn't even vote at all who did not attend the polls on this, our most important election, since the Civil War. So here we are around 260 or more days into the worst presidency our nation has ever seen, and 260 or more days into the Trump-Russian GOP plan to obliterate our federal government and destroy our democratic republic. Again, I refuse to delude and normalize. I am old and I'm on my way out, but I owe it to the children, to the future, to fight and to rid ourselves of an enemy that could and will end the USA and our world forever. Because he will, if he has a chance, get us into a nuclear war. Now is the time for nonviolent protests and civil disobedience. Because if you are paying attention as much as I am, you know that Trump and the GOP are working tirelessly to destroy the Obama legacy and our democratic republic with it. The first thing we must do before we create a disorderly conduct account is to not be afraid to finally say it. And that is, we have a white supremacist psychosociopath occupying the highest office in our land who was put there by the Russians to sow discord, violence, chaos, and who supports in all ways alt-right domestic extremist terrorism. We were asleep when this creep came into office, this Trump-Putin traitor tax-evading creep. But now we must wake up. And the second thing we must do is to pay attention and to document every assault the traitor Trump and the GOP is doing on us, on our country, and on the world. When I wake up in the morning, I think that today, I won't have to wear a protest shirt. Wear a protest shirt. Nevertheless, when I read my newspapers, and, and when I watch a morning newscast, I am filled with outrage. I am filled with rage. I grit what is left of my teeth, clench my fists, and when I walk out the door into the public, I have already once again put on a protest shirt. I can't help it, because I truly believe in the war that our country is in right now with the Russians with the religious extremist scumbags and with white supremacist domestic terror. The alt-right slime of the earth. Another word for Nazi KKK assholes. My measly protest t-shirt is nothing against the onslaught of the fascists and their Koch brothers supporters. Now is the time for nonviolent protests and civil disobedience. We must take lessons in civil disobedience and nonviolent protests from the heroic ADAPT group, A D A P T, which staged massive protests inside the halls of Congress against this Congress continuing plan to gut health care, to kill us, to murder us. The creepin' it wants to mess with our taxes while never revealing his. The creepin' it is giving our country 
and our planet to filthy oil and coal. The creeping and Trump just nominated still another climate denier to the besieged EPA. The creeping and Trump wants to decimate our government. The creeping and Trump wants to bring back the days of Jim Crow, violence, torture, murder, lynching. The creeping and Trump wants to destroy women's rights. The creeping and Trump has decimated our State Department in preparation for the wars he wants to wage, including the nuclear one. The creeping and wants to destroy LGTBQ, their American rights. The creeping and Trump has murdered Puerto Ricans with his criminal neglect. How many more? Victims of the hurricane and victims of the supremacist, racist Trump are going to be murdered in Puerto Rico in the next days ahead. The creeping and Trump behaves this way because he is a racist fiend. The creeping and Trump placed the religious extremists on the Supreme Court. The creeping in and his cabinet is exterminating our public, pristine lands. The creeping in and his cabinet are going to expose the public to toxic waste and poison all of us as the GOP did with the people of Flint, Michigan. The creeping in birther bastard wants to undermine our free speech and our free press. Please fact check me whenever you want. And when you see as I do the threat, you will agree with me that now is the time for nonviolent protests and civil disobedience. Study the methods of Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King. Realize that we are facing an ultra-violent enemy that is backed by the executive branch. Know too that any nonviolent protest we may stage also may be met with violence and even police brutality. We must prepare ourselves to meet this threat with enough nonviolent protests to effect positive change. Nonviolent civil disobedience must also be practiced. It goes hand in hand with the protests. Before the Trump Putin fiend attempts to build his wall to lock us all in, we must be there to stand in his face in fury and an American protest. No matter what, no shot should be fired and no person violently attacked. Our side is the good side. Our side wants to see the survival of a strong and humane America. The other wants to just blow it up. And they want to discredit all of us by using Orwellian methods illustrated in 1984. I am willing to join in a sit-in, some civil disobedience, or in anything that's a, that disrupts and undermines nefarious plans of the traitors now holding our government. Before the Trump-Putin fiend attempts to build his wall to lock us all in, we must be there to stand in his face in fury and in angry American protest to protect our unique government, our people, and our way of life. This discussion will be continued because if we don't actively and vociferously demand the removal of the Trump fiend, he will kill us all and I am not effing kidding. Let's get out in the streets and peacefully, yet powerfully, defend and demand our American rights. Now is the time for nonviolent protest and nonviolent civil disobedience in the face of this religious extremist Russian totalitarian threat.